recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. Are you going to dress up Gator maybe as one of Santa's little devious elves? Yes, we're thinking about that. We're thinking we're going to take her to the mall to get a picture with Santa. We went to the Petco this past week and Santa wasn't there. Uh Uh-oh. I know. We were thinking Santa Claus was going to be at the Petco, but he was not there. It's disappointing. I know, so we might go to the the mall and get a picture, but we really need a picture. And <laughs> yeah, we're thinking uh, dress her up as one of sell, uh, Santa's elves, and she's real cold in the apartment right now. It's a surprisingly <laughs> kind of cold day here today. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly. You got to keep warm this time of year, unless you want the unthinkable to happen. And nobody wants the unthinkable, especially this close to Christmas. Yeah, I mean, you if there's no way. Nobody right wants that. And you made it this far. It's like the people who get killed like on the last day of World War Two. And you're like, God, you were so close. Yeah. It's, it's like if you died this close to Christmas, it's like you almost made it to Santa's birthday. You almost made it. But some people don't. That's the sad part about this time of year. That's why some people to get depressed, I think, mm-hmm. around this time of year is just remembering the fallen who didn't <laughs> who didn't make it to this year's Santa's birthday. Yeah, remembering those who weren't fortunate enough to get just one glimpse at the cookie tray and there's one bite out of it and you go there's only one man who would do such a thing i know just leaving the one bite out of that cookie it's like you would think he would eat more but i guess he's eating a bunch of cookies that night Mm -hmm. so So it's understandable yeah maybe one bite makes sense one bite at every house and he's actually allergic to macadamia nuts so do not leave out white chocolate macadamia nut cookies which are wonderful. I so love good. those. That's one of my favorite kind of cookies, I think. Me too. I got some at Bucky's on Friday. I've been eating them all weekend. Seven cookies in two days. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's not a bad cookie ratio. How was uh, Bucky's? Was it f- real crowded? It was crowded as hell. Everyone getting their last minute gift ideas, getting a, a bag of sour belts, <laughs> getting <laughs> some uh, uh, honey roasted cashews. Just. It's fun for the whole family. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I'm still, I've almost finished off my bag of dark chocolate covered cashews that I got mm. from Bucky's a couple of weeks ago. The servings are so big. Thank you, Bucky's, for keeping us. I know. Strong. Thank you, Bucky. Was Bucky there? Uh, yes, Bucky was there and he had his little Santa's cap on, which I found a little offensive, but because uh, he's not. Yeah, Beaver Santa. doesn't need to be doing that. No. It's offensive, totally. Did you say hello at least? Yeah, I said hello. Yeah, I, I, okay. I stopped in and I said, how, how are you doing? It's it's so good to see you. and You look great. And uh, he Did just, he respond? He notoriously doesn't respond no. to people. No, he just... Yeah, it's fucking rude. Yeah, just had that Bucky smile. But that's what we love him for, so I don't know for what sure. I was really expecting. See that classic Bucky smile. And look at that hat. I love how the Santa hat has a bill on it. It's kind of... <laughs> It's, like, it's fun. Yeah, it's like a flat bill. That's pretty badass. I know. It's like a modern take on Santa Claus <laughs> for Santa gear for a uh, a beaver. Yeah, his pupils are huge. Yeah, he's on something. Oh, my gosh, Casey, I read. Have you seen all this hubbub about the uh, new DXM medicine? Everybody I've, on the little subreddit, the <laughs> DXM subreddit or whatever the hell it is, people are saying people are about to start dying. Whoa. From, from what? <laughs> from the cough medicine stuff. They apparently made some new cough medicine uh, that has like a bunch of the active of ingredient DXM. that gets people fucked up. And it's like making people trip too hard? It's people, everybody's... Uh, guessing that people are going to be dead from this. <laughs> Holy shit. People are going to drink too much. Oh, I wonder what it's called. Yeah, you definitely piqued my interest. I just woke up 45 minutes ago, and you telling me that was a cup of coffee, was a cup of coffee to my brain. I was like, <laughs> whoa, new Super DXM? <laughs> Did you have a good sleep last night? I slept like a little baby. I stayed up watching a movie about a girl who gets abducted by aliens in her own home. It's on Hulu. What's it called? No One Will Save You. Was it based on a true story? It was. It happened in Madison, Wisconsin in 2009. Damn. Did yeah. the aliens return her? Or 
Cool. Well, so kind of a happy yeah ending at the end. She lived alone, so she was like. You know, a little shut in, so she didn't have a whole lot to live for. But the aliens looked inside her brain. Spoiler alert! And they said, "You can go back." Cool. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. Well, that was sweet. Um, what did the aliens look like? Uh, traditional grays. Okay. Uh, <laughs> traditional <laughs> grays, because of course there's uh, <laughs> the four different types: insectoid, uh, mantis, reptilian, traditional gray. And some people want to group in the mantis with the insectoid, but that's not. <laughs> no. That's a no. big mistake. Yes. That's yeah. totally a far different kind of thing. Yeah. And then the Nordic. So there are five. The Nordic are white-haired, blue-eyed aliens who seem to be human in nature, but a little bit off. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. The scary. Very freak stuff. Have you ever seen one, uh, Grant? <clears throat> An alien? Is that what you're talking about? Insectoid. Like one of these guys? Oh, an Whoa. insectoid. I was pulling up one of the aliens from the movie. Yeah, that's him. These are the greys? That's Josh. He's the main one. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Josh. <laughs> What's his name? Josh. Oh, no. It's Josh. <laughs> Wait, oh, we know the quick plan of that. <laughs> yeah, do they speak English or is it an alien dialect they're speaking? They speak an alien dialect. It's actually pretty cool. They speak, uh, like, when they speak, their skin ripples, like, almost like a frog's throat. And mm-hmm. they speak like that, like, we do that, we do that, we do that, we do that. Are they nice to the girl at least, or they were very aggressive? They, they, oh. <laughs> they sneak in her house and they're trying to steal her for most of the movie. And then they do steal her, and then they like heal her trauma at the end. I don't know if they're like ended up being good aliens or something, but oh yeah, my gosh. they're actually pretty scary. There's one that's really big, probably twenty feet by eight feet. Really? Yeah. What? Twenty feet wide or tall? <laughs> twenty feet tall by eight feet wide. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a strange <laughs> alien the other way around. Yes, it, yeah, 20 feet wide and 8 feet tall, just the size of a bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think my favorite aliens are in the abyss. Yeah. Ooh. Did you ever see that? With, is that James Cameron's movie? Yeah, I think we've talked about it before. Have you ever seen that, though? Oh, Freaky Friday. That's the long that's one. That's her? Yeah, that's the long one, and that's the girl fighting for everything she has. Yeah, I can tell she has some trauma. Look at her ass. <laughs> oh, my god! I'd have some trauma if I looked like that, too. God damn. Yeah, she looks beat up. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen The Abyss. Oh, my gosh, Casey, you're a big movie guy. You have got to see The Abyss. It's wonderful. I just know the shooting schedule was a nightmare notoriously in Hollywood. Hard to film movie. Really? So I heard. Yeah, because it's all in water, right? Yes, it's yeah. all underwater. Uh, I'll have to watch it. It sounds good. So there's aliens? Highly recommend. Well, I always, I like to think they're angels, but <laughs> they might be aliens. <laughs> I was reading about how Ed Harris was traumatized by that and like almost drowned multiple times. Yeah. He, yeah, he was like really scared by it. Yeah, you had to breathe water. They had this technology where you could breathe breathe water, so that's why he was able to go so deep towards the end of the movie. No spoil. I'm not going to give out any spoilers, but yeah, he was drinking water. What? And he got the oxygen directly from that. Yeah, because think about it. When we're babies, we're drinking water. We're breathing That's water. That's true. Placenta. Yep. So they did that <laughs> two and they did that mat together so that you can you can drink the water. You can breathe the water as well when you're older. But we just haven't figured that out yet. But they figured it out in the movie. Um on your eighteenth birthday you can breathe water again. You start breathing water. I know. For anybody watching this though, you need you probably don't have the right technology, so don't Drink water. Do not. Or no, drink it. water. Don't breathe it. Yes. Please drink more water. Santa loves a good boy that's very hydrated. Yeah, you don't want your TT looking dark yellow and brown. And Santa will check your pee. He'll do his little urine sample. To, that's how he really, if he's on the edge about who's on the naughty or nice list, he'll check. For sure. So if it is yellow, make sure to flush it before Santa gets 12 a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's when he gets around. Uh, pretty Ooh. dark little man I know and then he leaves you he leaves you coal or whatever he leaves yeah. these days I don't know what he leaves anymore yeah probably a, a malware malware virus or something mm-hmm. Yeah, he hacks your iPad and puts malware on it which you do not want because then you're typing in your credit card number and they get your credit card number yeah. you don't need that yeah too. Santa loves phishing scams he's very into it loves phishing scams and for anybody watching today uh, I was looking at the comments last week. We were looking at the comments. It seems like there's a a 
minority, but a very vocal minority who's hating these Colin shows. So you're going to have to please forgive us. We're working out the kinks. We're figuring all of this shit out. So get off our jocks, okay? We're going to figure it out, and we're doing a call-in thing today, okay? This is a special Sunday edition. We're filming on Sunday. We have very busy weeks next week. We have yes. to film on Sunday. We're doing a call-in. So for anybody who hates it, we're gre- we greatly apologize. Uh, we're sorry. Yeah, what do you do? What do we do? What am I supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? We're very busy. Yeah, we're very busy these days around Christmas, so come on. Don't crucify us. Come on. Yeah, come on. It's the holiday rush. Yeah, we're in the holiday rush from from freaking Black Friday to Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a rush, so that's a big part of the year, so we're in the middle of it. We're right in the thick of it, and we're, uh, we're so close to pulling off the perfect Christmas, I can almost taste it. Yep. We're almost there. Um, Okay, Grant. Yeah, do we want to... So do we have some people on here? We have. Yeah, we have a bunch. You want me to bring someone on? Yeah. All right. I think this was the first person who joined like um, four hours ago. Oh, (laughs) Oh my gosh. We'll we'll see if they're uh, actually paying attention and they're ready. They're probably exhausted. Oh, my gosh. I've been waiting the whole time, dude. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Ethan. <laughs> Wait, that's not Ethan. Let me fix it. Oh, name. no. Yeah. What's your real name? What's your real name? David. Davis. Davis. Hello. David. No, David. David. How How's are- it going? Good. How are you today? Great, man. Great. What do you think is the scariest type of alien? <laughs> Whoa. Because we're working with what? In- gray... Nordic, Nordic, reptilian, insectoid. I'm gonna those. go insectoid. That sounds intense. Yeah, pretty good answer. Yeah, no, that's a scary. That's a scary. Real. That's a scary kind. Mm, they're supposed to be pretty evil. The insectoids and the greys are supposed to be among the worst. Yep. They don't believe in God. All this shit. Yeah. They go to this weird. <laughs> synagogue thing nothing wrong with synagogues but it's like a devil sin it's like a weird it's a they don't believe in jesus so it's like space church but but the god is a is a punch yeah, it's yes. awful yeah space church what a yeah. fucking thing to think about that oh my god what would you go to space church david if you had the opportunity yeah totally i'm I, locked in yeah no it could be fun where are you in denver colorado i am in denver colorado uh oh, one for one already. <laughs> I saw uh, your flag in the back. How are things going in Denver? Is it- oh yeah, dude, it's the place to be. I love Nuggets it. Are doing pretty good. <laughs> love it. Is it cold there today? Dude, super cold. Snowed the other day, so it's pretty chilly. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, love it. What are the temps like out there? Oh, it's very. I thought yeah. it was pretty chilly. It was very windy last night, and now it's kind of chilly. I don't know. I think it's getting up to sixty or something. So that's not bad. But yeah, it could be worse. But it is a little bit chilly, David. Yeah, it's a pretty little... Christmas like out there. It's getting. Get there. It's it's starting to look a lot like Christmas around these parts mm-hmm. for sure. For sure, we're we're debating on whether to get a Christmas tree or not because we're going to be back in Memphis, but we don't know if we should still get a Christmas tree just for the season, but. <sighs> Hard to tell. The eternal debate, right, David? Yeah. The aliens, dude. They probably want you to get a tree. <laughs> they probably would like a tree. Yeah. Do you have a tree? You're asking tree. for trouble. Oh, my Dude. Gosh. Wait, Grant, throw the graph back up that showed all the different Nordics. Here, check it. It's my one ornament. Oh, my gosh. A Digimon. Are you a Digimon <laughs> fan? Dude, I love the Digimons. <laughs> My I'm, favorite. I'm kidding. Is that a Pokemon that or a, Digimon? The Charizard. It is a Pokemon. Yeah, it's a little Charizard. David, if, one. If you could, if you can name three Digimon, I'll Venmo you twenty five dollars. Digimon, not Pokemon. Oh no! I'm. <laughs> Damn. Can I, you I, name three Digimon? No, I can't name one Digimon. I can't either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, are there a are bunch you, of Digimon yeah. like there are Pokemon? <laughs> There's a bunch of but. David, uh, do you remember? And I don't know if you would be the Digimon expert. Are they, aren't they named like numbers, like three ten or four hundred five? Because there's that many of them. I think they're yeah. named numbers. It's a digital currency. Yeah, it's digital. 
my younger brother was really into the Digimon. I was more on the Pokemon side. And rightfully so, you're a good man. Yeah, I wonder yes. what happened. I wonder how Digi Pokemon was able to totally surpass uh, Digimon in popularity. I don't know. Oh, they do. Have Pikachu, that. man. Beta Everybody mom. loves Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, Pika. Is that what they would say? <laughs> Pika, Pika. <laughs> so, David, what's your best present you've gotten for somebody so thus far? Oh, man. If I'm being honest, I haven't bought any presents. Are you going to? Uh, yeah, I just... I'm pretty... I always wait till the last minute. And I don't know what to get. I never know what to get. Mm -hmm. I know. What do you... I'm trying to figure out what to get my brothers right now. I don't know what to get Vance or Selden. It's getting... It's starting to stress me the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> what to get for someone who has everything. Always a like a yep. golf tee, set of golf tees. Yeah. Oh, nice. Golf tees, maybe a golf Love bag. Love golf tees. Yeah, golf bag. Yeah. Golf bag could be cool. The golf cut covers for the golf clubs could be fun mm -hmm. bed nice, sheets but no clubs golf balls. no yeah those things are expensive they we're not are. buying clubs around <laughs> here at all um so are people so when i used to live in denver i worked at the uh place on uh what was that area called it's by downtown kind of five points area are people still selling a bunch of cocaine over there yeah yeah that's the place to be <laughs> if you're looking for the goods if you will. I love it. That's where I always used to get blown up. It's like an open yeah. air, like an open air drug market, right? Mm -hmm. like people just sell drugs. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, I used to. Do love you guys that. plan on coming out here anytime soon? Hmm. As a duo. Uh, hopefully, if the hopefully, if Casey's still willing to come out on the road with me, some it's been a wonderful pleasure thus far. Um, I, I'd love to go to Denver. I've always wanted to. I've been there a couple of times. I'm sure we'll go I, 2024. Yeah, I would nice. think so. Getting some more dates up there. Uh, the sweet agent, Ad, sweet Adam, he's helping <laughs> book some stuff. So it's uh, things are generally looking up other than my skin cancer I keep getting. But that's a whole nother fucking can of worms. So. <laughs> Now I have something else on my face that's just inside of my face, so I'm going to oh, have no. to go. Yeah, things are – I who knows? I might not even be here in a year or so. <laughs> you might have to come see us somewhere else, David, because I, I, I yeah. didn't have time. <laughs> I almost saw you in San Diego, but I missed you. I was close. Oh, nice. Well, it's the thought that counts, David. We love hearing that. I totally appreciate that. You were there Hell in yeah, spirit. No. Yeah, you were on the front row in it's spirit. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, cool. Well, David, wonderful to talk. You're so sweet. So you were waiting for a while. What were you doing in that span of some hours before this thing started? What were you doing? Uh, so I was at work when I saw your Instagram post, and I was like, all right, let me just hop in the Zoom. And I've actually done this multiple times. <laughs> and a couple times I've accidentally logged out. This is the only time I've ever used Zoom. How's it so. working for you? Dude's great. Yes. Worked out. Zoom. A okay. <laughs> cool. Where do you work? Uh, I work near DU. I work. Uh, I manage residential construction sites. Oh, cool. We cool. got like two houses going right now. So what's DU? Denver University. It is. Yeah. Do you? So fancy stuff. The Wildcats. Really? No. What are uh, they? I think it's <laughs> the Pioneers. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. odd. Yeah. It doesn't seem to fit the Denver. Wildcats always sounds good. Yeah. I know, Wildcats. That's my, in my fantasy world, every team is the Wildcats. Yeah, they're just different, <laughs> different colors. Yeah. Man, what is different that, High color. School Musical? <laughs> I was never, uh, I wasn't yeah. allowed to watch that. What was High School Musical? Was that a Bobcat or a Wildcat? Mm -hmm. I think so. If I, if, uh, yeah, I remember correctly. You Golden look like Blue. a High School Musical fan. Well, uh, now that I don't live with my parents anymore, maybe I'll watch it tonight or something. But yeah, growing up, they Larry and Francis didn't like me watching shit like that where people were singing, so I just couldn't. wasn't allowed. But again, I'm not living with them anymore, so maybe in the coming days I might watch it. Maybe before Christmas. But they don't know. Can't oh, hurt yeah. him. Yeah, he lived. He lived in a song-free household. Yes. I, Ooh, I always wanted bummer. to watch the Nutcracker with Macaulay Culkin. Wasn't ever allowed to do that. But yeah, I always like the idea of musicals, but just could never watch them. But whatever. <laughs> um, I had no idea about the Macaulay Culkin 
Nutcracker. <laughs> I haven't heard of that yeah. either. <laughs> It's a thing. Yeah, I was randomly watching some dumbass YouTube video last night of some guy who was saying, oh, this is the worst Nutcracker movie ever. <laughs> and he was using it against, I guess, the Macaulay Culkin Nutcracker was good or something back in the day. So he was comparing it to the Macaulay Culkin one. Nutcracker movies ranked from worst to best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he said this one was too scary. Number one, Number one Macaulay Culkin. There he is. There's Macaulay. Oh, he is a little Nutcracker boy. Wow. <laughs> Get that prince. ensemble. Yeah, I love it. Um, well, you're going to have to see how that stacks up to High School Musical. Totally, I will. Again, I need to get it out of my head that I can't, not allowed to watch that shit anymore. So I need to get it out of my head. I'm not living with those people anymore. So yeah, you're better than that. Yeah, I can watch whatever I want now. Um, Hell Yeah. <laughs> David, well, have a wonderful Christmas. Very nice to talk to you. Thanks so much for calling in, dude. Dude, Merry Christmas. You guys are great. And also, Thank David, you. so do you care that we're doing these? Because we're starting to get a, a lot of pushback on these phone call things. Are you in that camp? Or are you? What are your thoughts, David? Are we doing it a little <laughs> you know, too much? Be very honest with really, us. Be very frank. To be frank. Yes. Awesome to talk to you guys. I... This could have been a boring conversation, you know? I thought it was pretty cool. Sometimes, Some people might hate it. You think sometimes we talk to people and it's boring? You think that's what the issue people have with it is? And sometimes I'm just jealous and spiteful, oh. you know? <laughs> that's true. No. Maybe. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, and it's it varies. You never know. So, so maybe just maybe, mix them in sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're working. David, I swear to God we're working. We're trying. It, so please dude, don't crucify dude. us. No rush. No rush. You guys are killing it, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, great. Wonderful to hear, David. We like that positive uh, affirmation or positive. We like the positivity. Yeah, we love the positivity. The good stuff. The good 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 stuff. stuff. We like the good stuff. Yeah, we love the good stuff. (laughs) Okay, David. Well, wonderful to talk to you, dude. Have a good day in Denver. Yeah, you guys too. I'll talk to you. I'll see you. See you, dude. Bye. Uh, I was walking in downtown 6th Street last night, and I was at a stoplight, and this guy looks over at me, and he goes, Casey Rocket! And he goes, dude, I'm watching your podcast right now with William, and he was watching it on his phone and driving. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he showed it to me. <laughs> it, was, it was the William Montgomery show. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I went to some concert Friday night with uh, Erica. Daniel Donato, they're great. They're wonderful. But, yeah, it ended up just talking to a bunch of people. I have, I mean, I had a dis- disguise on. I thought mm-hmm. I wasn't. But, yeah, it's like I'm trying to listen to the fucking music. I'm not trying yeah. to fuck it. No, I'm kidding. You're people there for the lyrics. Sweet. Yeah, I'm there for the lyrics. I can't hear the <laughs> lyrics when you're talking to my fucking ass. When you see that I'm fucking in the zone. But it's all good. People are sweet. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Uh oh. Faulty plug, Grant. Yeah, Grant. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Thank you. They're not saying in your ear. Oh my gosh, and Grant had his whip today, the uh, Corvette. Yeah, you see that? Hell yeah. You oh, guys, my- you guys can actually take a picture in it this time. I saw, I saw the post you guys did where <laughs> you were next to it last week. Yeah, I think if week. you're okay with that, Grant, it sounds like some people are reaching out to Casey about <laughs> us literally <laughs> renting the car out. Yeah, someone sent me twenty dollars. I, I made, I made a post saying <laughs> we'll be giving rides, and then someone was like, "I would love a ride," and sent me twenty dollars, and I was like, <laughs> "Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but yeah, yeah, well, I it's happening. Drive. You, you can give them a ride." It'll be you driving, William in the front seat, me in the... Is there even a back seat? There is not, but we can see what we can do. Okay, me in between you guys, and then I guess the, the person on Grant's lap while he's driving? Yeah, Grant, yeah. are you comfortable with somebody sitting on your lap while you're driving? <laughs> yeah, of course. <sighs> okay. O- honestly, William, I don't know if you'll fit in that thing. It is so tiny, and you're much taller than me. Hmm. I'm not that much taller not than that you. Big, so. Yeah, I'm, and I'm not that big. I get it. Not, I haven't been working out recently, I mean but big, I don't feel that just big. Just say you're tall. I think tall people don't fit comfortably in that thing. Well, you said big. <laughs> I you can't t- walk that. We back. can rewind it. Yeah, I mean, you said big. So. <laughs> it's not that. Yeah, I don't think I'm that, that big. big. So. I th- I meant massive. You know, like mass. Well, that's even worse. <laughs> I'm massive. I'm not big. I'm massive. 
Well, you took a shot on that last one, Grant. We just got to appreciate that. <laughs> yep. trying, to, trying to backtrack there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, Grant, what else? Uh, you, want, you want the next person? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's. We'll move on. Let's <laughs> move on from me talking. <laughs> we like talking to you. You're yeah, funny. Grant, uh-huh. stop. Making trouble here. He is causing trouble. All right, this next person we're, we're shooting for is going by the name Chapanzi. Whoa. Hmm. And there they are. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. How are you, Japan Z? Pretty good. Everything going okay, I hope. Yeah, it's pretty good. Where are you in your house right now? I'm in my shop. What do you make in there? Um, I do custom automotive fabrication. I was hoping you were gonna say you do custom nose rings in there. <laughs> Did that thing hurt? <laughs> Uh, when I got it, yeah, I felt like I got punched in the face, and then I stretched it like six times. Ooh, Ew. you stretched it in what sense? You got a bigger ring? Yeah. Does it bleed like when you do that? Or what? Does it bleed? Uh, when you stretch it, no. When you get it pierced, yeah. Can you do cocaine with it still? Um, I have. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it would just go up one nose and then out the hole and out of yeah. the other or something. Oh, I lost one. Yeah, I lost another bump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That concert we went to on Friday, <coughs> we were going to smoke some weed, and two dudes are doing key bumps right in front of us. And Damn. I was thinking, shit, if that was three years ago, I would be all over yeah. that. <laughs> but that's for the best. Uh, so, Japan Z, so you got to work on Sundays. Uh, nah, I'm just chilling over here. Oh, cool. What do you do in the, what do you do in there? Uh, when I'm not working, just dicking around with stuff. Uh, cool. When I am working, uh, working on other, other people's cars. Hot rod. Yeah. Look at that hot rod. Do you ever intentionally don't, you intentionally don't like tighten the lug nuts real good on one of the wheels so they, you know, they're going to crash in like a month. (laughs) <laughs> have you ever I'm wanted to yeah um i've actually done that to one of my own cars and tried driving it on accident and then felt like i was gonna die a lot so. suicide did the wheel fall yeah. off <laughs> i almost <laughs> fucked up the wheel pretty good oh my gosh it's fucking up wheels i saw some video earlier of these two people on a motorcycle and the guy did a wheelie and then he when he was going back down they hit a sign and there was a fire that started, and his whole head was burning. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so be careful, Japanzy. We don't need your head burning, especially with a hot rod, fast yeah. vehicles. We need you okay, Japanzy. Okay? Especially this time of year. You're so close to Christmas. you got to play it safe, brother. Almost there. Home stretch. Yeah, you got to get your brothers a good present. What is your, what is your, what's a good gift got? What do you think are top? What's top right now for gifts? If somebody's watching, they want to get a gift for their maybe brother or sister. What are you thinking these days in 2023? What are your thoughts? Shoot, I have a bunch of kids, so I don't buy (laughs) gifts for adults. I just buy kids stuff. So for me, it's uh, Roblox and Minecraft. (laughs) Paddle with ball on it. Skateboard sandwich. Classic. That's fun. Or the clack ball things that you have. It's on, it's the two, it's a clacker. You like do it like this and then they clack. Once you get it into a real big zone, a good zone, they start clacking real, real fast. That could be fun. Yeah. Noisemakers. Yeah. Stuff like that. Kazoo. Uh, Probably won't be getting any of those because I have uh, five kids between me and my girlfriend. So that would be a nightmare. How old are they? Uh, my oldest is 10. So I have a 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, 6. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of them. Youngest is 3. So I'm so somebody like me who's scared to have kids, what would be your advice? You're obviously good at it. You've been doing it. What's your advice to me, somebody like me who's scared to have kids but ultimately might want them? Um... I would say just uh, do it, and right. you won't have a choice for that. You just have to figure it out because there's no turning back. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, have to keep it. 
You have to keep yeah. it going. Other that that one couple in California, though, I think they they had their van filled up with their their foster kids and they drove off a cliff. Yes, so I guess did. technically you can end it all, but it's probably it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair to the kids. They're from Washington. They drove to California to drive off a cliff. I'm like, you could have done that in Washington. Woo! Yeah, there's probably a bunch of cliffs in Washington. Ooh wee! Woo! I bet they were screaming on the way down. I would have been screaming. <laughs> of, of having fun in heaven. It's very sad, Japan. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> well, Japanzy, wonderful to talk to you, my friend. Thanks so much for calling in, dude. Have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you and your whole crew have a wonderful Christmas. And it's same to you. Oh, uh, you got out of your oh, Wi-Fi uh, or Casey. something. Oh, <laughs> what, Bubba? A, you have a question? Oh, hello. Uh, um, you guessed where I'm at. It's uh gets kind of snowy here but it also is hot as balls during the summer you in boise idaho i'm in caldwell oh caldwell that's funny yeah. yeah my friend nick daniels used to live there he would do this great bit where he would go on stage and do his act and then we would run on stage and beat the shit out of him and then <laughs> he would he would pretend like nothing happened and keep doing his act <laughs> it's really funny caldwell idaho. yeah <laughs> caldwell it's all right it's like the uh I don't know if you know where Palmdale in California is. It's like the the Palmdale of fucking Idaho. It's kind of ghetto over here. Are there a bunch of Mormon folks here? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Caldwell's a military <laughs> town, right? Cal? No, I think Boise is more of military. Yeah, because we'll they have the uh, Gowan Field over there. Yeah, oh, I love Gowan Field. Gowan um, Field. <laughs> Cool. Well, Japanzy, <laughs> wonderful to talk to you, my sweet friend. Good to see you, man. Yeah, great talking to you guys. Safe travels. Yeah, be very safe. Oh, I will. Oh, whoops, sorry. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just like that, he's gone. he's gone. We'll never know if he was safe. <laughs> God willing, he was. <laughs> yeah, I only ever went to, uh, where did I go in Idaho? Where Idaho State University is, Pocatello, Moscow. Yeah, yeah, Pocatello. I went there. That's where my father's uh, sister lives. Okay, isn't that kind of nice up there? No, run down. Um, I've been thinking of Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, it seemed fine. I mean, it was like a medium-sized city. I think it yeah. was like a bunch of fields. Driving there from Wyoming to there, it was like felt like I was in the middle of nowhere. Kind of pretty looking though, but. They're really small. Idaho is very, very thinly populated. And not a lot of people live there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, pretty exciting. We love it. That's where the potatoes come from. That's where the potatoes come from. And there's also a lot of Bigfoot sightings in northern Idaho. So, Which is a little sketchy to me. What's going on that with that? I don't know. Some sort of base where they're training them to use weapons. With the insectoids. The insectoids and the reptilar. What's up with Nordic? <laughs> Is it just Nordic people are aliens? <laughs> yeah, so people see them often in abduction scenarios. They'll see Nordic. They kind of look like Scandinavian people, and they're supposed to be very nice, and they give a lot of wisdom. But the reptilians <laughs> and the greys and the insectoids are supposed to be like pure evil, and they abduct people to like steal their souls. Ah! Is, is what the, the literature tells us, Grant. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> I didn't realize that was actually a thing, the Nordic ones. Yeah. I thought you were kidding or something. No, people oh, see it. It's a real thing. I yeah. didn't either until I saw that photo when I was looking <laughs> it up. I was like, Nordic? Okay. People just... see them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it'd be funny if there was all different, like, people saw all different, you know, because Nordic is kind of like a race of people. So, like, you went on a spaceship and it was just like Mexicans or something. like Mexican aliens or something. <laughs> like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> they would have a bunch of kids running around. When I was driving uh, <laughs> earlier, I saw it was a sweet couple, and they had like fucking six kids, and they all looked like the same age, but they must have been a little <laughs> different in age. But a very sweet couple, and what the little girl was on top of her papa's shoulders, and I was thinking, I wish I could be on his shoulders right now, <laughs> crossing the street. Let uh, me up, Papa. Yeah, Papa. <laughs> Do me a sack of potatoes. That's what he used to say after we'd watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? He's like, okay, how you want to go upstairs to your bedroom? He's like, well, you want sack of potatoes or on my shoulders? And I'd say sack of potatoes, Papa. 
And then that's where he just kind of, your body's limp, and he just kind of picks you up. Uh-huh, dead, <laughs> dead weight. <laughs> All right, my little stinker. <laughs> oh. Okay, Grant, what, uh... Well, speaking of Papa, oh we have a... Uh, we got a Papa on the line. We got a Papa. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if uh, we can get them to start. Oh, my gosh, it's a Papa on the line. I haven't talked to a Papa in a while. I know, neither have I. I'm trying to see this Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a couple months, I think, at least for me, since I've spoken with a Papa. <laughs> It's been at le- yeah late July for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you always? You can always remember. It's like your first kiss. You can always remember the last papa you talked to. Mm-hmm. When was your first kiss? Do you remember? I was in sixth grade. Damn. Yeah. Pretty early. Damn. Her name is Taylor Daggerpont, and uh, we kissed at Alley. McSweeney's party and uh you were going to parties in the sixth grade it was just like you know like cookies and pizza yeah 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 yeah. little parties but we kissed outside and her breath stunk and I said all girls breath smell like poop oh my gosh yuck I know her breath stunk did y'all use tongues no just lips that's sweet yeah I was so nervous we were waiting to like everyone like Gave us time and like distracted the parents because they wanted us to kiss. Nuh-uh. And I didn't kiss her for like an hour. We just stood there. It's like cre- beautiful night tonight. <laughs> yeah, that sounds horribly <laughs> awkward and weird. I would have hated. That. Oh, it was so awkward. And then finally, she said, "Are we gonna do this thing?" And then I we kissed on the lips. Her breath stunk. Damn. Hey, you. Did you end up going out or anything after that, or that was on? She, we did, and uh, I think that was the only time we ever kissed. And then she uh, betrayed me for my best friend Brett Pruitt. Bullshit. Yep, she did. Taylor broke my heart two million pieces. That's horrible. I wonder what she's up to now. God only knows. She's probably got a bunch of kids. Probably a bunch of kids running around. She's doing great. I think she's a real estate agent. I follow her pretty closely on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, not closely, but I think she's a real estate person. That's funny. And okay, Brett? honestly, the papa's not here, but we have cool dentist. Cool dentist. Oh my gosh! And it looks beautiful <laughs> yeah, wherever yeah, you are. Are you in Glendale? Houston. Ooh, that's where Casey just was. Oh my gosh, hold on. Just there, cool dentist. You missed me, pal. (sighs) I wanted to go so bad. Are y'all hearing me okay? Yes. Yeah, looks like you're you're coming in a little pixelated, but it's totally fine. Hold on. You look like Warren Zevon. Has anyone ever told you that? No. Is that a compliment? I think so. He was, yeah, no, was Warren good. was notoriously a handsome man. For yeah, he's sure. a good-looking dude. Rugged, topo chico, take the edge off. I like that. And yes, smile it. for us. You got a good uh, grill on you, dude. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Thank you. You are Thanks. glowing, my dude. Oh, you're making me blush. Yeah, oh my gosh. Are you actually I am a, a dentist? Yeah. Yeah, I am. That's exciting. Do you? You don't ever hold on. <laughs> I was like that fucking Warren, Warren Zevon? Zevon, dude. Get real. Good That's reference. That's actually not a compliment. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you look great. He's a musical. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> he was. He was a musical genius. Yeah, he had perfect pitch. He was one of three people: him, Paul McCartney, oh, and then, I think Mr. Measles. Then we have that in common: perfect pitch, of course. So you don't do the nitrous, though, do you? Oh, of course, yeah. Do you really? I don't do it myself, but I give it to patients, yeah. You do? So what, I have to ask you a very serious question. So I probably, you're a dentist, I probably need to stop. I'm down from two to one zins in my mouth. I probably need to just stop, don't I? Is that going to make my teeth fall out eventually? Maybe, but, like, I'm a cool dentist, you know? I forgot about that. So I'm not, yeah. But generally, that, in your so. professional opinion, I probably need to relax on it, right? Yeah, I would say it's good to, but like, I'm so cool. Like, I'm not gonna. Say <laughs> yeah, <it>. yeah. <laughs> You're so Fair chill. Enough. I mean, it's it's not your place to say. So, hell yeah. Yeah, brush. Don't brush. 
whatever. What yes, about Listerine? Yeah. Do you is Listerine? Do you recommend that? Yeah, I think it's good. I don't. I don't really use it myself, though. It actually killed my just, uncle Lee. He was drinking Listerine because he had a bad drinking problem. Yeah. Oh, my grandpa did that. Oh, really? That'll yeah, get you there. Yeah, I think it kind of got him. Yeah. Well, Whatever it takes. Exactly. I don't know. You get to a point where it's just give me whatever. I don't give a shit. Give it's a this. monetary thing. It's pretty cheap. Big old bottle of Listerine. It is. And what is that? Like 20% alcohol or something, I think. Yeah. It's like wine. So uh, this, I, I'm, I'm intrigued by how you're going to answer this. So somebody uh, of your stature coming from you, what do you recommend for anybody watching who's looking for a gift idea for maybe a brother or a sister or a loved one? What are you thinking? What's going on in 2023? What are you thinking? What's the hottest trend of the summer? You know, I don't really know. What is the hottest thing? Like, what do I want? Yeah, what do you Shh. want? Really housing that thank you that for asking <laughs> really thirsty <laughs> oh my gosh i've been working in the yard i've okay. been waiting and working in the yard so exhausted but yeah i don't know i'll take anything cash yeah. everything's so expensive i know inflation mm -hmm. stagflation you gotta account for that the yeah. bubble is going to burst yeah i mean quarter four isn't looking good for anybody right now q4 is a logistical nightmare yeah q4 is gonna uh, things are gonna crumble. oh i took i looked at q4 and i i got choked up <laughs> you want to start crying it's scary yeah yeah what do y'all want for christmas <sighs> just for all this crazy shit to get better uh yeah, just kind of world <laughs> peace. Something. Yeah, yeah. Just make the world great again, or <laughs> make it better. Um, but no, it's so altruistic, selfless. Yeah, just make me more selfless, Lord. That's what I pray every <laughs> night. Lord, please make me more selfless. You please help me to love others. Please help me to love you. Please forgive me when I don't. Did you pray last <laughs> night? Do you pray? <laughs> Absolutely, of course. Oh, nice. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Do you what say... is it? The last at one of the episodes, the sailor's prayer. Oh, the sailor's that's what I say every <laughs> night for now. Sailor's <laughs> prayer. Yes, uh, Jesus loves nautical stuff, so I bet he would be pretty stoked about that, and Santa would be pretty excited too. So. That's a smart one around this time of year. So what are your thoughts? You've, ma you've made it through on this one. Are we doing the call-ins too much? I mean, there's now a loud, I think, minority, I don't know, maybe a majority who's saying this is too much. You're, we're talking to the pe people too much. What are your thoughts? Be honest with us. We need you're, – you're a dentist. No. We appreciate your perspective. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's great. I like hearing everybody's stories. People are interesting from all over. Uh, so I enjoy it. No, y'all, y'all keep it up. Y'all make me laugh. I listen to all your episodes. Oh, cool. Well, wonderful to hear. Well, for all the fucking haters out there, uh, you heard it from the <laughs> dentist. We're never going to stop doing the call in. So fucking suck it up. Deal yeah. with the sit and spin and also buzz off. Yeah. Buzz <laughs> off. You... William, what are you drinking? Okay. So this is a, uh, so generally, I don't know if you noticed, but I always have cans of stuff. I always, so this is, uh, I haven't gotten into this one yet, but so this is a uh, Blackberry Mandarin sparkling water, and this one has 35 milligrams of caffeine per can. So this one's kind of mm. fun. All I ate was my fiber cereal earlier with blueberries and <laughs> chugged a cup of coffee before I left. And now, so now I'm getting a little, feeling a little buzzy, <laughs> feeling kind of fun today. But yeah, I, uh, ever since I stopped drinking, I have to pound beverages and it's a lot of sparkling water. But yeah, this is pretty good. Grant, listen to us. We said we wanted more caffeinated kind of stuff and they they came through so things are looking all right around here right now yeah. he does hey care. i've never seen grant i don't know what this guy looks like <clears throat> picture the most beautiful man you've ever seen yes now close Holy your shit. eyes now close your eyes and picture the opposite. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh gosh, I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, I know. Keep them open, bro. Yeah, Trust yeah, me. keep them open. Yeah, don't actually think about it. Nah, he's a handsome guy.
<laughs> he's handsome. Sometimes we walk in here and all the lights are off, which is weird. And sometimes he will pop from around a corner and it's like, why the fuck are we even working with these people over here? It's scary as shit. I hate getting scared coming here. I'm trying to have a good time. I don't want to be scared to death when I walk in the door. His, his hands are all greasy like he's been working on a car. And we're like, what are you doing? What have you been doing in here? <laughs> yeah, they're like greasy. They're pruned up a lot. Like he's been in a bathtub for 30 minutes. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I don't know if it's some just degenerative disease or what he's got, but so he's got something. Well, he used to work at a nail polish factory. So something about the fumes, I think, are making his fingernails fall off. That's why his eyes go in, in different directions. Have you seen those people where, like, this eye's going this way and this eye's going this way? So it's, like, hard to, oh, yeah. when you're talking to him, it's hard to see which eye to look into when you're talking to him because they're going opposite directions. <laughs> and we think that happened from the nail polish yeah, factory. I think it was from the factory, and he's not getting any workers' comp. It was all under the table. Yeah, so he got <laughs> screwed on that one. He yeah. could have gotten a pretty good workers' comp kind of deal, but it was that's why you get you can't you have to be careful working under the table, especially in some hazardous place like yeah. that. That's why we need unions, man. Unions. Would you join a dentist union if you had the opportunity and chance? Well, you know what? Why not? I guess. Yeah, I'm yeah. cool. So I guess if that's what the cool people are doing, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Why for not? Sure. Yeah, if they're all also. Oh, I badass. see the teeth, be mm. teeth behind me. Do those have it. gingivitis. Yeah, how do mm. those look? What is that? What is that called when it starts getting the dark stuff around where the gums are? Mm, yucky teeth. Yucky teeth. And then you just you just say pull them all. <laughs> probably <laughs> pull them all. Start over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got to redo. Redo. Start over. You ever um, push them on the top of the head like a Play-Doh doll and more teeth come up? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Interesting. Oh, man. Yeah, people don't know this, but you can just grow as many teeth as you want. You just, you just push the top. It's a matter they just of come will. out. It's a matter of what. Just, yeah, push. Use all your might. Um, cool. Well, wonderful to talk to you. You're so sweet to call in today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day in Houston yeah. today. It looks nice there today. Is it kind of chilly? Well, you have that nice sweater on or sweatshirt. It must be a little chilly down yeah, there. Yeah, it is. It's nice for working in the yard. Oh, my gosh. What's on the front of that thing? It's uh, some moths. Ooh -wee. Oh, my gosh. I've Just never nature. seen <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> Magpie. Oh, yes. Yeah. The death moth. Very scary. That's fun. <laughs> we love it. Uh, hey, y'all do such an awesome job. I just wanted to say thanks for keeping it up and uh, don't listen to the haters. Cool. Well, you're very sweet. Nice to talk to you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Figure out some Christmas gifts for your loved ones. Thank yeah. you. See y'all later. Thank you. Bye. I... <laughs> he was a cool dentist. Yeah, he seemed sweet. Do you yeah, think he's an actual dentist? <laughs> I'm starting to think he might not have been. I don't know. Because I... <laughs> I think historically, dentists have the highest rate of suicide for, like, professions. Have you heard that before? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even kidding. I have. Yeah, I've heard that. He yeah. didn't seem suicidal enough. And why is that, I wonder? Just looking in people's mouths all the time or literally getting into the nitrous too much? or so? I just wonder why why that is. Yeah, I don't know. It could be a nitrous thing. The temptation's too great. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he had a light behind his eyes that I haven't seen in a dentist in many years. <laughs> mm -mm. So mm -mm. it's normally a darkness there, like a detective. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> doctor, what was his fucking name? I, uh, I had to get braces and stuff, and that old man, he was weird. He touched <laughs> me on my chest a bunch and stuff. It was weird. <laughs> See what's going on with these guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have... A Casey's top three, I believe. Oh, we. Oh. Yeah. We about ready for this? We. You want to do one more than the top three, or what do you want to do? You want to jump uh, in the top three? Yeah. Can we do one more, Grant? Or we. Yeah. Let me hide that uh, thing I popped up on the screen. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> All good. We could squeeze one more in, I think. Yeah. Let's grab yeah. another person. Uh, the person I was trying to bring on, the Papa, was uh, Papa John Schnatter, but uh, they, didn't, they didn't connect. <laughs> So. His ass was really trying to call up mm. here. That's yeah. embarrassing. I mean, I felt a little uncomfortable, but I was like, oh, I'll bring him in. Yeah, I mean, that would be awkward for you. Yeah. What's up, Playboy? Yeah, it's <laughs> Papa John just fucking twerking your bitch ass, just putting you down. <laughs> <laughs> twerking you. 
<laughs> and he's probably not in a good mood. I mean, how much does he have to pay for Shaq for having a shaq over there? That's probably millions of dollars. It's probably super expensive having him as a spokesperson. I know. Hemorrhaging Hello? money. Hello? Hello? Hello. Are you a tooth? Can Hello? you see me? No, where are you? Uh, boom. boom. There we go. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, Cameron. Hey. Cameron. Cameron. Hi, Cameron. What are you... Doing. Hey, I'm uh reading a book. William, I actually wanted to ask you. Hmm. Uh, long ago, there was an episode where you were talking about reading Cormac McCarthy. Is that true? I fucking Yeah, he's my favorite. Reading. He's my favorite uh author. I need to uh figure out other authors to read. I honestly haven't been reading as much as I have in the past. But yeah, when I went to uh University of Tennessee, I guess he went there. He didn't graduate, but he went there. And I, it's when I was taking Adderall. And mm. uh, I read, like, all of his books in, like, the span of a couple weeks. I love him. He's wonderful. Which Are yeah. you reading one of his books right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm reading The Crossing. Oh, cool. What is that? The first of the Border Trilogy or which one? Or the second one? Which one is that? Yeah, yeah. It's the second. I just finished the the, the first one, All the Pretty Horses, so. Cool, yeah. How'd you like that? I I liked it a lot. I watched the movie, and that was not that good. <laughs> yeah, I heard there was a movie with what Matt Damon. I think. Yeah, I just don't think Matt Damon should be playing that character. I guess. Yeah, he needs just, to stick. It didn't with the, work for me. He needs to stick with the characters where he gets shrunk. I was recently watching <laughs> that movie where he's tiny. Does it uh-huh. downsizing? Downsizing. Yeah. He was kind of fun in that, but yeah, he doesn't need to be in a Cormac McCarthy inspired book. Have you read a uh, Child of God? Yeah, that one's fucked up. With Lester Ballard. I loved Lester Ballard. He was wonderful. He's like a serial killer, though, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. remember when he has the dead woman and, he, and he's trying to shop for lingerie for her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How sweet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that book's twisted. Yeah, that's a good one. And then obviously the uh, uh, Blood Meridian, if you read that one. Yeah, of course. That's a wonder. Have you read Sutri? Yeah. That's a wonderful one with Harrogate. Harrogate's wonderful, and he's having <laughs> sex with the watermelon at the beginning or whatever. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Harrogate's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, I loved uh, I loved Sutri. I was reading that, and then the person I was with at the time when I was living in Knoxville, there's a part in Sutri where he sees some steakhouse He's staying with like some prostitute and he sees some steakhouse sign and where the person who I was with lived, it was right by the steakhouse sign. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is where Sutri lived. <laughs> it was Walking exciting. In the, in the book. Walking in his footsteps. Cameron, you have like a voice for NPR. You have a very soothing voice. I know. Is that really? Yeah. Yeah. What do you I'm mean? Listen to first. yourself. You sound wonderful. <laughs> Come on, Cameron. It's gorgeous. You're putting me at ease. Wow. I appreciate that, guys. <laughs> Did you read his newest book? No, I was just in the bookstore, and I have I almost bought one of them, but I figure... Uh, it was okay. It was I'd okay. I'd like to wait until I finish pretty much all the other ones, which yeah. I've worked through most of them, to be honest. Would you read Outer Dark? No, no. I haven't read that one or The Orchard Keeper than the two newest ones. Yeah, I think Outer Dark and Orchard Keeper are his first ones. Those are fun. Those are good ones. Uh, the newest ones seem f- uh, fine. I only read one of the newest ones. Uh, yeah, they're like a, they're sequels or something, right? Yes, I think so. Uh, it was fine. Yeah, the passenger and Stella Maris. Code name Stella Maris. Yeah, Cameron- yeah my uncle was big into like books. He put me on them when he was younger. Cool. Yeah, he's really good. Also, have you ever read a uh, Confederacy of Dunces? I'm afraid not. Ooh, look that up. That's a fun mm-hmm. one by John Kennedy Toole. Yeah, that's an interesting story. He killed himself, right, because they wouldn't publish it? Yeah, he killed yeah. himself, and then the mom found the transcript, I think, under his bed or something, and then it ended up winning the Pulitzer Prize. But he yeah. had already killed himself, so he had no idea that it became kind of a famous book. And it's a mm-hmm. cursed movie, Cameron. Uh, John Candy was supposed to play the guy, and John Belushi, and Chris Farley, and they all died. And Philip Yikes. Seymour Hoffman. And they all yeah, died. that is cursed. Cursed production. They actually recently, somebody reached out to me asking if I wanted to play Ignatius J. Riley. Maybe I need to <laughs> say no. Oh, no. Ah, I didn't even think about that. Uh, 
But yeah, Cameron, that's a good one. Yeah, I should read more. I haven't read. I guess there's spans of time where I read a bunch, and then other times I don't. Just watch Judge Millian on YouTube. So that's what I've been <laughs> oh, doing, watching a lot of the people's court on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It's too easy to get into that kind of shit yeah, it's for a hours and hours at a time. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Just scroll, scrolling through your phone, watching videos of people on motorcycles getting their head burned. <laughs> I watched that one earlier. It was brutal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh. Yeah, offender gets instant justice after incarceration. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it's exciting. Well, yeah, keep up. I think we named kind of uh, most of his books. Are there any other ones? I, I That would be great if they made Blood Meridian into a movie somehow. No Country yeah, for I Old Men. Yeah, that could be a good one if it's done right. Totally, yeah. Yeah, No Country for Old Men. That was a wonderful one, and I loved the movie. Normally I don't really like the movies, but I think the Coen brothers did well on that movie. That was great. Yeah, yeah, surely. Yeah, Blood Meridian. Oh, my gosh, that final paragraph. It always gives me the chills. <laughs> it would give me the chills right now if I read it, where he's dancing and he just killed the kid or whatever. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. wonderful. I think he's the devil. <laughs> Who, the judge? Yeah. Yeah, do you? Uh, yeah, it's a... Or he's evil probably, or something. He's, he's yeah. hella supernatural and stuff, so... He's hella supernatural. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> cool, Cameron. Well, wonderful to talk to you, my sweet friend. I'm glad we were able to get your ass on here. Last second, any yeah. gift ideas for anybody? Anybody who might be watching, what are your thoughts? What's big in 2023 right now? Get like for anyone in, in particular? Maybe like a loved one or a yeah. brother or sister or like Dude, a little brother. My mom it's not a gift at all, but she just gave me these uh this pack of birds bees and i i was never using birds bees i was just into like the fucking chapstick like the brand chapstick you seem like a chapstick guy cameron it seems like you uh, might love a good chapstick yeah with that yeah, well, <laughs> with that sweet voice i know i could just picture you talking to your buddies yeah. like hold on guys i'll be out of the bathroom really quick and then just putting your chapstick on. there's some chamomile tea on the stove if you want a cup <laughs> uh, yeah i do make we do make tea in my apartment here Love it. You ever made mushroom tea? Uh, I fucking, I tried once and there was a lot of like residue that didn't fully dissolve. So it was just like part shroom tea. And then the rest of it was just like a spoonful of like the goop. And it was one of the grossest things I ever ate. So that was like a a bad start to a bad trip. Yeah, yeah I could only imagine. I would, for, yeah, last time I did mushrooms, I ended up on my couch crying. So I haven't <laughs> done it cry. recently. The, the the first time was like the best day of my life. And the second time was one of the worst. And now never again. <laughs> I know. It's weird how it can turn on you real fast. I wouldn't mind tripping again in the near future. It's been a while, but it can turn pretty bad on you pretty immediately. <laughs> Yeah, certainly. Yeah, maybe you could read us a book if we could all trip sometime, Cameron. With your soothing voice, you could read a book to us. Yeah. Oh my okay. Gosh. We'd yeah. like think about it. We could make it work. Yeah, we might can make it work. I don't know. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes, have that you that back is. on, and I'll, I'll read the last page of fucking Blood Meridian. Yes, <laughs> please. Everybody out. And look up uh, Confederacy of Dunces. That's a fun one. Yeah, I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. That's all we ask. Yeah, that's just keep it in mind. That's all we ask. Uh, cool. All right, Cameron. Nice to talk yeah. to you, dude. Yeah, you too. Thanks for having me. For and sure. Have a, have a good holiday, guys. Happy Christmas. Yeah, you too. Happy Christmas. Bye. 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 We love Santa Claus. I know. And speaking of Santa Claus. Yeah. William... I was rec I recently filed a freedom of information request. Good for you. People don't do that enough. Not enough. There are documents in the government's possession that you can look at, and rightfully, we should have access to them. For sure. As tax-paying citizens. So, I saw these documents, and I compiled for you a very special Christmas list. This is the top three Christmas miracles that the Catholic Church refuses to recognize. Whoa! Now I see why you had to file the Freedom of Information Act. I could see how yeah. the Catholic Church wouldn't want this stuff out. Uh uh. This goes all the way to the Vatican, the Archdiocese, the Cardinals, and the Pope himself. So we're talking Archdiocese, we're talking Cardinals, we're talking Pope. 
We're talking the Pope. That's the big man. The big man. The big The big of- man. The big <laughs> man. <laughs> the code breaker. Yeah. <laughs> God's own code breaker. So these are these are Christmas <laughs> miracles that happened that the press totally ignored and the Catholic Church will not make into saints. Okay, so the Catholic Church isn't going to make these p- into saints? No. Okay. They're refusing to basically acknowledge that Santa had any involvement in this stuff. Nuh-uh. It's hard to deny, given all the evidence that I've seen, but you know them. They love keeping the people in the dark about things. Yeah. Ah, I didn't even want to hear that. For They don't. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it makes you not trust the system. Nope. And speaking of not trusting the system, number one. The boy who cried marble. (laughs) 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 Okay. Born with arthritis of the lungs and a fear of noise, Carl Carl Marble Ranch of Missoula, Montana, was doomed to a life of obscurity Mm -hmm. until September 29th, 1994, when Santa came down and cured him during the company potluck. Really? Cured him of his fear of noise, and cured him of his arthritis of the lungs. That'd be hard having a fear of noise, because <laughs> stuff is generally kind of noisy in life. Most things in life require some degree of noise. Uh-huh. So it's hard to... But Santa cured him of that, and made noise actually feel like the biggest hug. Woo! Very happy. So, with his newfound lease on life... You can look this up. This was in the New Yorker. With his newfound lease on life, Marble Ranch lived until the ripe age of 34 until he was hit by a stray foul ball at a Blue Jays game. Mm -mm. Yes, but he was buried with full military funeral thanks to USAA, who closely partners with Santa year-round. USAA. USAA. That's beautiful they do stuff like that. Yeah. They'll lay you to rest. Uh, as long as it's a Santa-related death, and in his case it was, they mm-hmm. give you full, and your family gets full benefits. Cool. Well, that's yeah. good to know. If anybody's looking for yeah insurance or whatever, USAA could be a good option for sure. Very helpful. The boy who cried marble. So he was um, <laughs> he's, he was born into the marble family, the heir to the marble fortune. And uh, and we're yeah. talking the people that invented marbles. marbles. Yeah, yeah, Janet and Theodore Marble. And marbles are everywhere. They probably had a pretty penny. Yeah, they had a whole house. You know what they say, never throw a baseball in a marble house. Mm-hmm. So yep, yep. It'll all come crashing down. Well, at least he made it to 34. 34, he had a good run there, and, and it brings me uh, a sense of relief to know that his last years weren't spent being afraid of noise. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was able to relax a little. And how was he even dealing with that before Santa helped him with it? Just wearing <laughs> earplugs yeah. and stuff, and then he can't hear anything. And he couldn't hear anything, and he would say, what did you say? And he'd be like, oh, I asked him, ah! <laughs> Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so he probably wasn't popular. Probably. No, people thought he was a fucking freak, yeah, frankly. Yeah, just a freak. But yeah. Santa cured him and whispered in his ears and said, it's okay. Breathe. <gasps> and he could breathe suddenly. And then he got, yeah, he got hit by a foul ball and it fucking killed him. But um, it could have happened to anybody. Yeah, you have to be careful with those foul balls. That's why you have to bring a baseball glove to games. Mm-hmm. And if you snag it, you're automatically on the nice list. Interesting. Yeah, a little loophole. I didn't realize that. So even yeah. if you've been bad all year, you're still not getting call if you catch a, bo- a foul ball. If you catch a foul ball, you're totally good. You can give whatever you want. You can get a laptop. And then so what? So even after something like this, the Catholic Church still is not yeah. willing to... Radio silent. That's bullshit. Radio silent. They said that Santa basically, because Santa didn't save him from the foul ball, Santa was culpable. So it's not a miracle. What? It's like, what do you expect, man? Santa's not Jesus. He's just the closest thing we have to him. <laughs> God, the Catholic Church <laughs> loves getting their lawyers involved to find these loopholes. I hate it. I know. It, it drives me nuts. And so, uh, yeah, his family couldn't uh, get any of like the Santa-related benefits that a, that a saint gets. And those are notoriously really good benefits. Oh, yeah. Five grand a month for life. Damn. Yeah. That's like winning the Powerball or something. Yeah, yeah, you get five grand a month. So how much is that a year? I guess not that much, but it's it's good like you retire. Yeah, for sure. Just yeah. having 
running around money. <laughs> yes. just, you can go on a vacation or something. <laughs> just some pocket cash. Mm-hmm. All right, number two, always bet on red. Santa's, <laughs> Santa's red. Okay. <laughs> Down $16,000 at Harris Casino in Atlantic City, 62-year-old Donald Trunch only had one card left to play. He called the Santa hotline, and Santa was able to front him 30 Gs with a 10% VIG. Really? Yeah, <laughs> only a 10% VIG, too, so it's not that bad. That's not good. Or, yeah, yeah. no, that is good. I forget what a VIG <laughs> is. I forget what that is. A VIG, that was Mr. Trunch. And he was down big time, and he said, my hands are tied here. I got to call the big man. So he gets through, and uh, thankfully this was like in the middle of the summer, so Santa wasn't that big. He wasn't that busy. Mm-hmm. He was that big. He's always big. And he fronted him the 30 Gs, and he said, you know, play carefully, like play slow. And uh, unfortunately, Mr. Trunch lost all the money on a game of craps. Really? Yeah. How did Santa react to that? Well, Santa actually took his revenge and sent Donald to heaven, but before he went to heaven, right before he forgave him, and he gave him 16 boneless honey barbecue wings from B-dubs. Ooh, yum. Yeah, Yeah, not a big deal. Oh, my gosh. And it looks like that's right when he was trying to contact Santa or something. Yeah, he's just like, what's... Please, please, Santa. Please, Santa, I'm begging you, man. (sighs) With the 10% vig. Yeah, so that's like, I guess... He would have ended up owing him, what, about 33 Gs, I mm-hmm. think? Yep. So uh, he could have made that last. He could have bet a little smarter. Santa took offense to that, so he ended his life. Uh, but at but least he went to heaven. He I went guess. to heaven, and he, and he yeah. forgave him. And that's the real miracle is the miracle of forgiveness. Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> yes, it is. Every year. So, you know, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. That's kind of the more. 100%. So, pretty cool. Um, always bet on red. That was nice of Santa to front the money and to give him the wings. He didn't have to give him the wings. Totally. And the boneless wings, those are can be more expensive sometimes than even <laughs> the bone-in wings. Yeah. But Santa gets free beat-ups for life. Oh, does he? Yeah. Because he, he has one of those cards or something? Yeah, he's got the platinum card. Damn! <laughs> platinum beat-ups card. I wonder how he even got down. Fucking, I guess somebody must have given him a present for Yeah, months. for sure. For sure. Why don't we leave? Speaking of giving Santa a present, number three, the Hail Santa, the miracle at Heinz Field. So, down, you probably remember this on ESPN, down 36 to two with two minutes left in regulation, the Steelers needed a miracle to pull off their last game of the 1978 season. Fortunately, their prayer was answered in the form of none other than Chris fucking Kringle. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Clocking in at 6'8", 340, Santa was a phenom coming out of Sierra Canyon High School in Cleveland, and he was heavily recruited to several D1 schools. <laughs> I didn't know that about Santa. <laughs> he was heavily recruited to a bunch of D1 schools. Uh, Charlestown, Gorgo State. <laughs> Damn, he got an offer for Gorgo State? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, St. Guilford's. So, St. Guilford's. <laughs> so the biggest ones in the Big 12. Yeah, yeah. So he could have went pro, but thankfully for us, he for, he forgoed his senior year. Mm-hmm. To okay. Be, to become Santa. You have to start early. And cut to the big game. The coach knew he had one last trick up his sleeve. So he says a prayer to Santa, and I'll be goddamned if Santa didn't come down and score 42 unanswered points. In the last two minutes of the game. two minutes of the game. Damn! Yeah, he trucked this DB so hard he died. He he was... (laughs) That's what I love. I mean, football needs to get more violent again. I know. He's trying to get away from that. That's not fun. Mm -mm. Let him play. Take the pads off for once. Yeah, come on, zebras. (laughs) Let the guys play. Let Let them have fucking fun. Shortly after the game, we all know the story. The Steelers offered Santa a four-year, $600 million deal. Damn. (laughs) Santa defected and ended up actually coaching kids for Boko Haram free of charge. (laughs) Really? For the next six years. Yeah. And the Catholic Church just wants to act like he didn't do that? (laughs) They want to turn a blind eye to all of it. Like, that wasn't Santa. That was some mystery player. And I go, you ever seen a player with a beard that long? 
Yeah, right. You don't see that often. And it's like he did that, it sounds like, out of the kindness of his heart for the kids in Boca Haram. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really, that one was kind of shows you the type of man that Santa really is. That's the Santa behind closed doors. Yep. For sure. Well, the Catholic Church needs to get on this. We need to have a Saint Santa. Saint Santa, make the coach a saint, make the marble guy a saint, and make the gambler guy a saint. What about uh uh who's the reindeer with the red nose? <laughs> Rudolph? Yeah, Rudolph. <laughs> think do what are your thoughts on that? I know that's kind of a big thing in the news these days. Do you think Rudolph should be a saint or Yeah, after he passed a couple years ago, it's hard to separate the art from the artist, but it's yep. like now we have such a clear vision. With modern eyes, we can look back on this stuff and say, was Rudolph that bad of a guy? I don't think, I think so. I don't think so. I know. And he meant, well, he lit up the nighttime sky so Santa could deliver all his gifts. I know, on that foggy Christmas night. Foggy, foggy Christmas Eve. His Santa wouldn't have been able to deliver presents that year. Yeah, that would have been the first year he couldn't deliver presents of all time. Which is weird to think about because he's been doing it. Since the beginning of time, yeah. almost. 20,000 years, I guess. Yep. And uh, so I'm thankful for Rudolph. There is no Santa without Rudolph, and there is no Rudolph without Santa. I mean, they're just intertwined. 100%. What about Frosty? Frosty, hell yeah. I know. <laughs> they need to get his ass into sainthood. <laughs> I, they need to get his ass. He's, come on. St. Frosty. I know. Keep we it chilly. I know. Uh <laughs> Cool. Well, Casey, that was a wonderful top three. We've been missing these. That was a wonderful top three. And it's good for people to know. It's yeah. good for the news to be out there about these these people. Yeah. Get it out there. Get the word out there. And, uh, you know, tell your family you, you love them this holiday season. Please tell them you love them. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, that was uh, fun. That was fun. It was fun talking to everybody. That was great. I know, that one guy with the sweet voice. <laughs> no. With his Burt's Bees. He just found out about Burt's Bees. <laughs> and it was his favorite gift. I know, that's sweet. Was that's it? what, it's, it has, The gift has to come from the heart. It doesn't have to be some expensive thing. It just has to come from the heart. People will realize that. Now, if your buddy's lips are chapped, put some lipstick on your lips, give him a kiss on the lips, say that is for you. It transfers. Just don't use L'Oreal brand... Uh, lipstick, because that's that's pretty good at staying on your lips. Yeah, it doesn't transfer as easily. Mm -hmm. Basically, stain your lips. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much for people watching uh, on the special Sunday recording of the show, the Christmas edition. I um, guess we probably got one more Christmas episode in us, but uh, yeah, I think there would have to. We'll figure out when. But yes, we got one more Christmas. <laughs> so this is the leading up to Christmas. Yeah. Just the beginning. We got a lot more Santa to show you. We're very excited about it. Yeah, we got a lot more, so please stay tuned. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, we'll figure out something else to do, I guess. With Some people like the callers. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we're going to figure it out, okay? Maybe, right, there's truth to not doing it every time. We're figuring it out. Trying the best we can. Yeah, come on. Uh, okay, well, that was fun. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.